In this video, I'm gonna be giving away two free copies of Rooftops and Alleys. So keep watching to find out how to enter. Love you guys. Rooftops and Alleys is finally out, baby, sheesh. And a lot of our questions have been answered. Questions like, does it feel like a parkour version of the skate games? Parkour! Is the flow of the game as good as it seemed in the previews? Is it entertaining enough to play regularly? And does the pigeon have a name? That last one, I'm sorry, but I don't think they do have a name. Aww. At least as far as I know. But speaking of the pigeon, I'm giving away two free copies of Rooftops and Alleys. And all you have to do to have a chance of winning is to one, hit subscribe. And two, let me know what you think we should name this little pigeon. That's short for pigeon. What? It's that easy? Uh, yeah, dude, it's that easy. <laughs> I'll be picking the two winners one week from now. So keep an eye on your notifications because I'll just reply to your comment on this video. Love you guys and back to the video. So does this feel like a parkour version of the skate games? I'd say yes and no. It does have the same flow to creating lines and putting together tricks as the skate games do, but obviously you are running as compared to skateboarding. So you're not really gonna get around as far horizontally as you are vertically. But I know Skate 4 is implementing more parkour moves into their game. I played the pre-alpha version of Skate 4 and to be honest, the game feels so freaking sweet but i mean i feel like that was more so the skateboarding aspect of it like there's so much more control to it but when it came to the parkour stuff yeah you can like grab onto stuff and vault up and everything like that but compared to this game it is nowhere near the control that you have over your tricks and the moves that you can do with all that being said this game does feel so good to play seriously the controls are simple enough to learn but still difficult to master in the sense that to create the run with the flow that you want you're gonna need to practice. And with the session marker system, similar to the skate games, it lets you practice the same line over and over, which is really helpful to get those controls stuck in your head. But man, this is one thing that I really need to showcase because I swear it's the coolest freaking part of this game, in my opinion. It's the freaking slow motion button. You can literally just press RB on the Xbox controller or R1 on the PlayStation controller, and it just puts you in slow motion. And it looks so freaking clean, bro. I don't know, I don't even know how to freaking explain it. Let me just show you a clip, bro. I swear this thing's so fresh. And so with the game being out for a little over a week now, I keep finding myself just wanting to come back to the game simply because it's just so satisfying to play. The combination of the controls, the flow, and definitely the music makes it so comfortable to play just like whenever you want. If I just have 10 minutes or like an hour to play, I know I'm just gonna have fun and just get lost in the string of jumps and flips and spins and the environment. I'll literally just sit in my Discord with my friends, load up the game and just chat with them and <laughs> do parkour and I swear, man, life feels good. <laughs> But I mean, bro, peep the flow of this random run that I made up. It's so clean. But do I think I'll be somebody who will play this game for like four to five hours in a row? I don't really think so, at least as far as the game is right now. It's still very early in its early access phase, so mostly what you're going to be doing in this game would be one of three things. Either a time trial, which is pretty self-explanatory, a high score challenge, which is also pretty self-explanatory, and there's not really an online leaderboard system with these yet, so you're really only competing with yourself, and there's only so far you can go with that. And the third thing you'd be doing, which is basically what I do in the skate games as well, is kind of just free roam around, make up your own lines, and just have fun doing that, and honestly, I could do that all day. But on a positive note, I do believe that as the development continues with this game, and that new things are added, it's gonna be become more binge worthy. And what I mean by this is once online features are added, even just like an online time trial score or trick scores or something like that, or there's been talks of some sort of multiplayer tag game mode, it'll just add that goal or something to strive or grind for rather than just doing your own thing in your own secluded single player world. And on another positive note, check out the slow motion. So fresh, man. And I apologize, I feel like I'm just rambling a lot. So here's a clip kind of showing just what it's like to load into one of the maps and just to start going.
So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of gameplay and just let you know what my thoughts are on the game now that it's out and I've put some hours into it. And remember, if you want a chance to win a free copy of the game, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment on this video what you think Pigeon's name should be. And I'll be announcing the winners in one week after this video is posted. And if you made it this far in the video, I just want to let you know I love you guys and thank you for watching.